Hey guys, so on your screen here, I have a list of all of the poll closing times for the 2020 presidential election. I mean, you see up here, we have 7 p.m. all the way down, you know, every half hour or one hour, all the way up until the 1 a.m. poll closing in the state of Alaska. And today, what I want to take a look at is just how the electoral map is going to change on election night. So this is kind of like an election night video, how it's a little bit different. I'm be filling in this electoral map based on when I think states will be called and who they will go to and at, of course, what time. And before we get into that, make sure you join my Discord server if you have not. The link is at the very top of the description below. We're doing many events, contests, and giveaways on there. So make sure you join and you do not miss out on that. In addition to that, I have also launched channel memberships on this channel. Just click on that, click on that blue join button next to the subscribe button down below if you're interested in unlocking some pretty nice perks. They're just 99 cents per month. So taking a look at this electoral map and the first states for the 7 p.m. poll closing time, there are really only two states that are important and to watch at this poll closing time. These are the states of Georgia and the state of Virginia. So. Uh, these other states I can call right now. I mean, Indiana, Kentucky, South Carolina. South Carolina might be a little bit closer, but it's going to go to Trump and it's going to be called for him at poll closing time. So Indiana, Kentucky, and South Carolina. This is all based on the assumption that we're going to have a normal election night because with the mail-in ballots, anything can happen. So I'm not going to try to speculate as to how those are, you know, how those votes are going to be counted and when. So this is going to be based off of if this election was like any normal election. However, you know, it might be a little bit different. But I don't think it's going to be that much different. So these three states are definitely going to go to President Trump at poll closing time. And Joe Biden will carry the state of Vermont at poll closing time. This is one of the most liberal states in the entire country. So definitely going to go to Joe Biden. And then the states of Georgia as well as the state of Virginia, I think, will be tossed up at this point in time. Georgia just because it is a very, very close race. In 2016, this race was pretty close. And then if we take a look at the numbers now, Joe Biden actually leads in this state. So according to this data, the state of Georgia would be a flip in favor of the Democratic Party. I think that a flip is not too likely. I think it's more of a 50-50 at this point in time. So definitely Trump can carry this again. And I think that Biden can definitely flip this as well. So let's see what occurs on election. The race is very, very close right now in the state of Georgia. Of course, in 2016, it went to Trump. He won with 50.4% of the vote this time around. It's almost definitely going to be a lot closer. And then the state of Virginia. So if we take a look at the map here in Virginia, really, uh, the Democrats don't start leading here until very late in the night. As you can see, these counties here in Northern Virginia near the District of Columbia, these are really the districts that are giving Democrats all their votes. You know, this district right here in Fairfax, you know, Demo you know, Democrats won 355,000 votes from this district out of their 1.9 million in 2016. So really, it's up until, you know, when the votes come in from these districts up in North that the state of Virginia will flip for Joe Biden. So originally it will show that Trump is leading. However, at the end, of course, Joe Biden will win Virginia. No doubt about that. Trump is not going to flip the state of Virginia. And then taking a look at the 7.30 p.m. poll closing times, we have three states. Two states are very important here, North Carolina and Ohio. These are very, very important states to President Trump's re-election. Not important at all to Joe Biden's re-election, but still, they can boost his numbers. And the state of West Virginia, that's going to be solid for the GOP. So definitely, West Virginia is a solid red state. And then... North Carolina and Ohio. Taking a look at North Carolina right now, in 2016, this race was pretty close. Trump won by approximately 3.6%. And then as of right now, Biden plus 2.9%. I think that Biden is doing well enough in this state for him to have the advantage here. I do think Joe Biden has a bigger chance of winning. However, I would definitely not rule out Trump's possibility of victory here as well. So the state of North Carolina, I don't think it's going to be called until pretty late in the night. And then with those mail-in ballots, they have allowed you to send them in pretty early this time around. So I think that North Carolina will see some results pretty soon. Uh, I don't think it's, I think we're gonna, the results are going to be counted here a little bit faster than some other states. But North Carolina, I think the race here is going to drag on for a while. The state of Ohio, Trump won this state by over 8% in 2016. Now Trump barely leads by 1%. He just took back the lead around a week ago. So things are not looking good for him here. Ohio, I don't think it's going to be called on a poll closing time either. And what's really important about this state right now is that the state of Ohio has been a bellwether, bellwether state for 60 years. The winner in Ohio has gone on to win the 2020, or not 2020, but the presidential election in every single election in the past six decades. And this will be, really be a test as to whether Ohio 
will be able to keep its status as that bellwether state. In my opinion, no, I think it's going to go to Trump and I think Biden is going to win the election. But it's going to be very important to take a look at how the results are going to come in from the state of Ohio, you know, very, very close race this time around. And then 8 p.m., we have the largest poll closing time. However, not too many important states, actually. So I'm going to fill in all of the solid states for both candidates right now. So starting off with the state of Alabama, definitely called for President Trump at exactly 8 p.m., very solid Republican state. The state of Connecticut, that's going to go to Joe Biden. And then we have the state of Delaware, that's also going to go to Joe Biden, his home state. The District of Columbia, definitely a Biden state. Florida, that is a toss-up right now. So that's going to put, I'm going to talk about this in general. Just a few moments here. The state of Illinois, that's also going to be solid for Joe Biden. 20 electoral votes. We also have the state of Maine. Honestly, Maine at this point, the first district I'm sure is going to be called and the at-large vote I think will also be called pretty early for Joe Biden. And the second district I think will be a toss-up for a little while there. But the state of Maryland, definitely solid for Joe Biden. And then we have the state of Massachusetts, the most liberal state in the entire country. And then Mississippi, I don't think, I think it's gonna be closer. I think it's gonna be a likely margin, but I think it's gonna be called at poll closing time for President Trump. The state of Missouri also, I think it's gonna be at poll closing time. Don't think it's gonna drag on for too long. New Hampshire, I think is going to be called for Joe Biden actually. Uh, last time Clinton only won this state by 0.3%. This time around Joe Biden leads here by almost 12% in the polls. So I really don't see this race being closer. I don't see it being closed at all. I think it's gonna be called for Joe Biden. Clinton won this state by just a couple thousand votes last time around. This time Joe Biden definitely gonna have a much stronger performance here. The state of New Jersey, another very solid Democratic state, as well as the state of Oklahoma. That's going to be a very solid state for the current president. And then Pennsylvania, this is the big one. So these two states, Pennsylvania and Florida. Pennsylvania, very, very important to a Biden victory. Florida, very, very important to a Trump victory. You know, Pennsylvania is also important to Trump, but Florida, obviously, is more important because he cannot, he cannot win the election without Florida. The state of Rhode Island, that will be another solid Biden state. And then finally, the state of Tennessee, that's going to be a solid state for President Trump. So this puts Biden up at 82 to Donald Trump with 76 electoral votes. So this map right here, Joe Biden is currently leading in, and I don't expect President Trump to actually take the lead ever in, you know, throughout the entire night after this point in time. So these are our 8 p.m. poll closing times. But taking a look at the races here in Florida and Pennsylvania, Florida, the numbers are really, really close right now. It's basically a tie, but Joe Biden is doing a little bit better. He's up around 3% right now. But honestly, Florida is always very, very close and does tend to be a Republican state. The Republicans do have a huge voter registration advantage over the Democrats here in Florida, but Democrats do seem to be able to win it. Obama won it both times very, very narrowly. Trump won it by 1.2% four years ago. We'll see how you know the numbers c come out here for Joe Biden this time around because Hillary Clinton, she did underperform in some pretty important counties. I think, uh, Hillary, or yeah, so Trump did much better in these northern counties up there near Jacksonville. And then Miami Dade really was not as strong for Clinton as many people expected. This county was supposed to give Hillary Clinton a lot of votes, but really it did not show up for her in 2016. So I think that definitely Joe Biden is going to do a little bit better than Clinton. But whether he can win it, I think right now he will. But definitely Trump can still win this state. I would say this is also another one of those 50-50 states like the state of Georgia. And then Pennsylvania, 20 electoral votes. This is a very important state for Joe Biden. And this is the, a state that went to Trump in 2016 by a margin of just point, or yes, by a margin of just 0.7%. And you can see uh, basically all of the rural counties here went for Trump, while the counties near Philadelphia went to Clinton. She really did not see too great of numbers out of these districts. Definitely, she, uh, Clint Biden should do better here. He's leading in the polls here by a margin of 6.1% at this point in time. So I think that we'll see some better results for the former vice president compared to Secretary Clinton. And our electoral map here, as you can see, same thing, 82 to 76. And then for our 8.30 p.m. closing time, we have just one poll closing time, or just one poll closing here in the state of Arkansas. That is six electoral votes, and it's going to go to Trump, no doubt about that. It's going to be a pretty solid margin, much worse than 2016, but still a solid margin for Trump nonetheless. And then for 9 p.m., we have quite a few important states from 9 p.m. actually. Uh, Arizona, very important state. Colorado, not really this time around. Michigan, very, very important to both Biden and Trump. Minnesota, another key state. Also, we have 
Mexico not really this time, but Texas and Wisconsin are two very key states in this election. So I'm going to fill in the solid states first. So starting off with the state of Colorado, it's going to be solid for Joe Biden. I'll actually fill in the toss-ups as well but colorado that is going to go to joe biden kansas that is going to go to president trump louisiana also going to trump the state of michigan that is going to be a toss-up and then the next state is minnesota also i'm going to deal with this later uh the state of nebraska i think that trump is going to see victories everywhere except for the second district i think that first district is not going to be solid though so the toss-up is going to be the second district of nebraska new mexico is going to be solid it's not going to be like last time it's going to be called very very early the state of new york also very very solid 29 electoral votes and then we have these states of north and south dakota definitely going for president trump following that the state of texas that's going to be a toss-up i don't see texas being called for trump at this point in time wisconsin 10 electoral votes very solid or not very solid but a very strong toss-up state and then finally the state of wyoming three electoral votes this is going to be a trump state so this electoral map, you know, we do have a lot of toss-up states, but in my opinion, I do think that Minnesota will be called for Joe Biden pretty early on. Minnesota right now pulling very, very, very uh, well for Joe Biden. In 2016, Clinton won the state by 1.5%. This time, Joe Biden leads to by over 9%. I do think Minnesota will be called. This state has the longest running Democratic voting streak in the entire country, so it's a pretty blue state. Hasn't voted for a GOP candidate in over three to four decades, so I think Ma uh, the state of Minnesota will be called for Joe Biden pretty early on, as well as the state of Virginia. I think at this point in time, Virginia will definitely have been called for Joe Biden, 13 electoral votes. It's not going to be as close as it was in 2016, but I think Virginia will be a Biden state at this point in the night. These other states are just so close because this time we have a huge electoral map, you know, with battleground states. We have so much more battleground states than we've seen in the future. I mean, typically they're fought between four or five states or even six states at most, but this time we have literally over 10 toss-up states. So, this race is pretty interesting uh you know a lot of races that are so close i mean florida north carolina ohio we have iowa as well the rust belt is pretty solid right now for joe biden but a lot of people are doubting whether he will actually be able to win this state texas is close this time i mean georgia is increasingly closer and joe biden's doing better and better in this state so that's not a good sign for the current president but these other states i don't really see too many calls at this point in time for these other toss-up states so what is our next uh Time. That's 10 p.m. poll closing time. We have four states, Iowa, Montana, Nevada, and Utah. Nevada, I think, is actually going to be called for Joe Biden at poll closing time. Unlike 2016, where, you know, Trump was expected to win the state, but Clinton won it in the end. I think Nevada will be called for Joe Biden. He's doing much better. Montana is going to be called for Trump. It's not going to be solid, but I do think it's going to be called for President Trump pretty early on in the night. And then we have the state of Iowa, six electoral votes. That's going to be a toss-up. I don't see it being called this early on, and the Utah is going to go to the current president. So at this point in time, Biden 154, Trump 118, taking a look at the toss-up states, and that is the state of Iowa from this poll closing time. Right now in the state of Iowa, Trump was able to do very, very well here. He flipped it from 2016, winning the state by almost 10%. That is a huge shift compared to 2012 for President Trump. He really did do very, very well here in the key state of Iowa. But this time around, things are not looking so good. Biden plus 1.3%. It really might just flip back to Democratic control. So on our electoral map here right now, do I really see too many states being called? I think that at this point in time, Michigan might be called, but I'm holding it off to 11 o'clock. So uh, taking a look at the 11 o'clock poll closing time, we have California, Hawaii, Idaho, Oregon, Washington. These are all very unimportant states. Well, they are important, but they're very uh on you know inconsequential states these states are really not going to change they're all going to go very solid for their candidates so the west coast all solid for biden and hawaii solid for biden and then idaho solid for trump so at this point in time i think michigan will be called for joe biden and i think that will definitely greatly increase joe biden's chances of victory i think it really depends on the margin that joe biden's going to see in michigan as you can see michigan was pretty close four years ago very very close this was literally the closest state and then right now Biden plus 7.6%. So if he wins by 7.6%, I think his chances of victory are just going to go through the roof after he carries the state of Michigan. So these other states, we're going to have to see what occurs. But 1 a.m. poll closing time, this is the final poll closing time. Of course, the state of Alaska, three electoral votes. It's going to go to Trump. I don't think it's going to be called too late, even though Alaska is going to be a lot closer than it has been for you know the Republicans 
at the Republican Party compared to elections in the past. So these other states, I think Texas will be called soon for Trump. I think that this state at the end of the day, it's probably not going to go to Joe Biden. Iowa, Iowa, I think will have to take a little bit longer in my opinion. I think that the next state that would be called would actually be Ohio. I think Ohio would be called for President Trump. I think Florida would take a really long time just because of how close the race would be. And, you know, with Joe Biden expected to win this state right now, it went a Trump state from 2016. I think it'll be very interesting there in this state of Florida. But after this, I think that I truly do believe that Wisconsin will be called for Joe Biden after this. That's 10 electoral votes. And this will just put his chances through the roof once again. I mean, he, get, he might even have a 99% chance of winning the election after winning Wisconsin. So these other states, Trump has to win all of them if he wants to win the election. I think we will see results coming in from the second districts of Maine and Nebraska as well. These other states, I think that at the end, Trump will win the state of Iowa. I do think he will carry Iowa. I also think he will carry Georgia. This is just because of the vote expression that's going to occur in the South and has already been occurring. Honestly, it's a shame. And I think that Joe Biden can definitely win this state if all votes were counted correctly. And I don't know why I put the first district of Nebraska into the likely column for Donald Trump. Uh, because I forgot we weren't doing margins for this video. So apologize if you noticed that, but the state of Georgia, 16 electoral votes, I think that's going to go to Trump. These final four states, these are going to go down to the wire. I mean, these states were close in 2016. They're going to be even closer this time around. I think that Pennsylvania will be a little bit safer for Joe Biden. And right now, I think that Pennsylvania will be the next state called, and that will put Joe Biden over 270 electoral votes. Then we'll probably see results from the state of Arizona, 11 electoral votes after this. And then I do believe that North Carolina will be next. They call it for Joe Biden. And then finally, the state of Florida, that will be the final Biden state, putting Joe Biden up at 335 electoral votes to President Trump with 203 electoral votes. And so this is our electoral map. Biden would be flipping Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, as well as the state of Florida and the second districts of both Nebraska and Maine. And so that will be it for this video. I also wanted to ask you guys what you guys want to see from me on election night. And, you know, do you guys want to stream or do you guys just not want me to do anything at all and just watch election night on, you know, by yourselves? Make sure you comment down below what you guys want me to do for the election night. You know, we've been, you know, waiting for this moment for a really long time and the election is less than two weeks away. You know, it's pretty exciting. So make sure you leave a comment down below telling me what you guys want to see from me on election night. Of course, I will probably be releasing an election night video either the day of election night or the day before as well as an election prediction probably on the final day or the day before that as well along with all my other predictions for the election that will be occurring on the third and so yeah make sure you join your discord server if you have not again the link is at the very top of the description below if you're going to do events there probably most of the events are going to occur on my discord you know i think it's a pretty great place for me to host events we're doing a lot of things right now we also have a pretty cool mock government there for you guys to join you know we have i think over 50 60 members right now so make sure you join that as well and then memberships on my channel make sure you consider them if you're interested just 99 cents this would really support my channel and you get access to some pretty sweet perks and so yeah that will be it for this video make sure you like comment and subscribe thank you guys all so so much for watching and i will see all of you guys in the next video